they'll be speaking about lab coats and we, uh, whether or not should girls wear them in school. Let's move on to the table of contents. First, we're going to take a look at equality and its meaning uh, and between genders and, exp uh, and examples of inequality in our everyday life. Analysis. We'll analyze the correlation, which is the relation between subjects, of only girls wearing glasses in school to gender equality. The conclusion. The conclusion to all of this and its own importance inside of us establishment. First, gender equality. Gender equality is the concept of, a, of, two the gender, of the two genders receiving the same treatment without it being biased because of their gender identity. Some examples of this of a biased behavior in our everyday life. We can see some examples of this in America, where women have been protesting for the wage gap, which, uh, which means that women get 18 cents less than men, if you take it from 82 cents to a dollar. So, if a man has a salary of $20,000, then a woman only gets 16 to 1,400. Even if it seems small when it's 82 cents when it's compared to a dollar, when the salary grows, the wage gap grows too. While women today, thanks to all the protests into the internet, have been getting the rights and equality that they deserve, it is still affected by the views of many people who protest their opinions on many popular platforms by embracing their misogyny. Even with all of these movements going on, some people are still trying to control their own women and girls and their actions, which brings us to the, our main subjects. Why do girls wear lab coats slash blouses inside of school? Let's animate. So, now, I think every girl in class can agree on this. Lab coats have no purpose at all. Since we began the school year, we have been forced to wear them. But there's always this question that pops up. Why do only girls wear blouses and not boys? Well, from my understanding, it seems to be inappropriate for girls to not wear them inside of school, which has been stated by many staff members and teachers when asked this question. But why is it appropriate, appropriate for girls to not wear it? First of all, we're still kids, and this is making us the thing that just existing and not covering up is bad, which is completely false. Second of all, if the appropriacy is a factor in wearing it, then we can also require a boy to wear it and punish them for not. For example, if a boy is wearing shorts and a teacher at school, not many people will speak to him. Worst case scenario, he will be told to not wear shorts next time, but if it's a girl who's wearing that, she will receive harsher consequences and will get a blouse to wear until the end of the day, which proves a point. Lab coats, or lab coats are made to cover up. So, let's take a look at the conclusion of all this and its own importance inside of establishments. My conclusions, but my conclusion is from all this, we can conclude that lab coats are practically useless and are a way of limiting freedom. The only ways we can resolve this are by, taking either, are by either taking them off the girl dress code and not forcing them to wear the blouses since this is a private school and it's not obligatory for, uh, for us to wear it. And not forcing them to wear the blouses, uh, yes, exactly what I said. Make them uh, obligatory, uh, obligatory for both girls and boys or in store a uniform for both genders. The situation makes us get a taste of the not so long future we will have if things don't change anymore and that there is always unfairness in the world. But with this generation, I don't think things are going to stay the same. So even talking about the little things like this can make a bigger change in the future and hopefully end gender inequality. Thanks. Does anybody have any questions?